What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. afternoon guys where whatever time it is in the world wherever you are watching this welcome back to our world TV we are in the car this is day two of our shopping spree for Christmas and traffic is not too bad but there is a bit of road rage and people are driving too close what is going on with you guys how are you guys doing today we are a little bit tired this morning but we are super excited to continue our shopping festivities. We're gonna go to a little place and have some nice breakfast before we shop, but it's been really productive, and we're having a good day so far. As you can see, the weather is a bit dull at the moment, and it is slightly raining, just a little bit, just a little bit drizzle. Traffic is not too bad at the moment, but people have been really rude on the road so far today, which really sucks. I don't understand why drivers have to be so like moody and like and speed and they want you to drive like super fast when you're going the speed limit then there's no need to really go any faster but it's actually so mad you don't speed up yeah you like, want break the and get a ticket for them no yeah i know it's stupid you smell good Thanks. what are you wearing oh it's versace yeah one of my favorites one i got in london yeah no it's really nice guys she's wearing this really nice perfume that notice it smells really good. We just had a really bad hassle on the road. Um, Bella's driving and she's looking in her rear view mirror. Next thing this car is like flashing at her, flashing its lights at her that she should move. Now she's going the speed limit, right? A lot of, there's a lot of police around as well. And the guy's flashing at her that, that she should move to the other lane. Now she's going the speed limit. So he comes up really, really close behind her to intimidate her. And then goes eventually goes around like but really close as if he's gonna hit your mirror. Yeah they always do that. But they always do that. I don't understand why people intimidate on the road. I don't know. Sorry guys it's just it's just driving us nuts on the road. What are some of your weird traffic experiences on the road guys but it just seems that road rage is just increasing everywhere. But we actually did a funny little skit on this um, but it's, a, it's actually a really good video. We'll put a link in the description but it was it's on this whole thing about road rage and it's, it's really, really cool. You should check it out. How to get out of a speeding ticket. So you should really check it out. We had fun doing it. So we'll put a link in the description, you guys. Just check that out. But uh, yeah, road rage, it really uh, it, it puts people's lives in danger. And it's just not worth it, guys. You've got to respect other people, especially on the road. Guys, uh, I'm not a morning person at all. I'm really tired. And um, I'm just really hoping a powerhouse breakfast is going to like wake me up. I'm going to order like a big one. A okay. 20 minute drive took us 35 minutes, man. The traffic just, um, just, I need to chill now. I need to have a cup of coffee yeah, and some it. nice breakfast. I know, man. We need like, I need like a really big breakfast so I can like wake up. Breakfast, breakfast. Mmm, so hungry. Good job on that truck, guys. Camo. It's amazing. I so want one like that. Really, really cool. Guys, so I'm just going for a walk and uh, going to get Stell some juice. She's in one of these like crazy little shops where they have everything and all kinds of like makeup and different things like that and I probably can't really like spend that much time in a shop like that guys, it would probably drive me nuts. So I thought let us go and get some nice juice down here at this grocery store, I got this cool little shop and uh, we'll get some juice for us. Uh, this shop has everything guys, it has clothes and groceries, video games, everything all in one. It's kind of exciting. I mustn't get lost in the video game section. I came here for juice and juice alone. Where is the juice? Um, okay, let's go and have a look down here. So, on a mission to find juice.
figures, guys, the juice is at the other end of the store. That from the end place that I entered, the juice is on the opposite side. So, okay, so we got a whole wall of different juices, juices, juices. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a Powerade. Let's see, a couple of these. Boom. Hello, how are you? You having a good day today? That's good. Uh, I do have one actually. Thank you. Have a nice day. Some two things. Totally pays to come out early, guys. When you go out shopping, leave early in the morning so that you don't have so many people shopping at the same time because around the holidays it can get so busy. So try to get up early, get all our shopping done before the crowds get out. Mission successful. Let's go and find Bella. We got the juice. I'm gonna go find her down there in that shop that she's at. I think there's a nice little place to sit outside the shop, so I think I'll wait outside for her. A few moments later. It is like super glary outside today. The sun is behind the clouds, but it is like full of glare, and I left my sunglasses in the car. Bella's inside with the keys to the car, and um, I gotta admit, I'm just like feeling a bit lazy to go in there to go and get the keys, so I'm just gonna have to sit here and suffer with no sunglasses. One hour later. Someone's car alarm is going off just over there. I'm not really sure what's going on, but oh, there it's gone off now. It was going for quite a long time. Oh, wait, I don't know what's going on. But, um, yeah, it's kind of a funny day. Feeling tired. Lots of glare. Just waiting for Bella to finish up. And we're gonna head off to another center to go and get some more cool stuff. Two hours later. Women be shopping, guys. Bella is still in the shop. And I've been sitting here for quite a while with these nice fresh juices, but I'm serious, man. You cannot stop shopping. You know this. One eternity later. Bella's supposed to be in this uh, shop just down there, guys, but I think she's pulling a sneaky and she's actually secretly buying a gift for me. That's what I think she's up to, guys. What do you think she's doing? She says she's just over there in that shop. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. She's been gone quite a while. Uh. Yeah, she's definitely pulling a sneaky. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, guys, because I get so excited for Christmas and buying Christmas presents. We always go overboard every year, but yeah, for sure. Meanwhile. Vlog, say hello to the Snapchat. Snapchat, say hello to the vlog. Look who it is. Eventually. After long? What'd you do? I really annoyed Bella. Very annoyed Bella. I always can spend unnecessary on things that I've seen That's okay. Guys, I've just been in this one shop, they have a lot of like bits and bobs and I feel like I've spent money unnecessary, but I did get this! Ta-da! And you think it's cute? A little Christmas tree plate. You can put like Christmas cookies on. Yeah, you can put, all your, you can put your cookies in there, you can put candies. Sausage. That is really cool, man. Wow. Alright guys, so we just sat down to have some sushi and this is really, really cool. This sushi place has an ice hockey rink attached to it. Check it out, guys. So here we are at our table, and there it is there. Sit on the glass, we got an ice hockey rink right next door. Nobody's skating on it right now or playing hockey, but I think it's really, really cool to have that right next door so you can just chill out here and watch people play hockey.